Hello folks, welcome back to our online DJ courses. My name is Sam Skills and I'm teaching you here from Skills DJ Academy. Today in this video we're going to talk about something that we all need to start to DJ. How to make our playlists and how to export them to the USB key. I'm going to take you from step how to download it, install it and use all the features like creating playlists, importing your tracks, changing the IDs or updating the IDs, looking how we test the tracks in two different players. Also, we will see how we match tracks and how we can just be helped by the software to get the tracks that are matching the track that we want to play. So we can really basically do our playlist the way we want. Okay guys, first thing first, download the software Rocker Box for free and I will show you as well how to install it. It's really easy. Go to Google, look for Rocker Box. Then you have the soft, exactly the uh, URL directly to rockerbox.com. You just click in, waiting for the page to, to load. Okay, and here we see we have the download page. I can straight, straight download software either for Mac or for PC, depends on what you're using. Here we have the latest version. Let's download the version here. And pop up window. Yeah, you just agree and you download. As you can see, the package is already downloaded here. So I will just click to install. You just follow next, next. You agree, that's it go. Just go with installation and then it, I will not install it right now because I have it already on the um, disk. It also will ask you to activate um, the software for paid version, but that version is for Rockerbox DJ allow you to play digital and assisted by computers like the same thing you're doing with the Serato or with the tractor started over here I can see in my collection over here that I have a lot of tracks but let's say you when you open it you will have anything here it will be just empty and you won't have any playlist over here I will just go here and create a playlist I will call it test okay say okay and here you can see i have no tracks what i will do i will just go in my music folder whatever pick up one of my playlists over here uh, let's say take this one and i pick up a few tracks whatever let's say take these ones i just drag and drop from my hard drive to my playlist over here. The good thing about Rockerbox, it doesn't copy two times the files. Actually, it's always keep the related tracks to the original place where we have been saving them. So if you delete the track from the original space or original folder, you won't be able to access the track anymore from Rockerbox. So here we have an example of five tracks. If I want to listen quickly, I just so you can really jump from one point to the other to listen to the, I mean, the overview of the track if you want to listen to the other. It's really easy access, you can just go very fast. If you want to have the overview of the old wave, let's say for this track, I will just take it here and drag it and drop it into my player. Here I have two players, A and B. This allow me to see more details about the track, the waveform, the BPM here. I can see uh, as well the timing of the track. You can see also the BPM over here. And on top of that, you have also the possibility to create cues in the spots that you prefer, whatever you like. But first of all, I will just show you the overview of how we can really read the tracks and change the tag IDs. Here, in this button here, the info button, when I click, I have the summary of my track, everything that I need to know about the track. If I click this again, it will disappear and I will see all my tags of the track on the bar here. So I have the BPM, I have the track title, the artist, the genre, my rating, timing, and also all the details that you need. If you don't have this, actually when you buy tracks from Beatport or 
truck source, iTools, whatever you buy them from, you always have the ID tags included. So if you want to change any tag ID on this truck, you just click once on uh, top of the area you want to change and you just write whatever you like. So I don't keep this, I will just pull out. If you want to, oh, sorry, I will just go backwards. So, and if I want to have more information about this track, I just click here on info. So I have the artwork, the end info, and a summary of the track. If I want to see the related tracks to this one, I will click on this button, display related track list window. And actually I can see when I select this track and I put it here on my player, it will show me all the tracks that actually are related to this one. How they are related? This is selected over here on this customized criteria. If I click on top of it, I will see they are, the criteria is the BPM, so plus or minus 5%. It means like 2 BPM up or 2 BPM down. Also based on the key, based on the track in the same genre and my tags. I think these are the most important criteria that you should have on this because if you want to get help from record box to get you the right tracks to play with that selected track i think these are the best criteria so if i take any other track over here and i want to see which one which one is working well with this track so i can come here and see all the criteria in my record box more tracks you have of course in your collection more tracks that will show up over here so basically these ones if i want any one of these tracks to be in my playlist i just drag and drop it into my playlist and all good so i can also put it under my track so i just see my playlist can be really at the, at the position that i want when i want so if we want to try this track with the other one, you just drag it and drop it over here. And I can play it from here. I can move forward like I want. And you can see also the BPM here and you can see the key. As you see here, you can see the BPM and you can see the key. The key, you can also see it over here. Now, how you do your cues, the moment when you want to start from the track. I will say that, let's say this track, I take it, I will drag it here. I drag my track over here and I decide to listen where I want to start my cue. I play. So let's try to see first how can I set up my cue on the track. If you can see here at the exit of my drop, at the first beat, you can see it here. The first beat, if I play a bit behind, you can hear a little bit what I'm doing. I make pause and I go exactly on the top of the line here and I will set up my cue by just clicking cue button. You can see here I have this orange cue button it just been set here. If I want to mem memorize this cue I just click memorize at 1 minute 01 as you see it here. If I want to go and make another, uh, another cue for example here at the beginning of my breakdown I just go. I will listen to this part and I will make pause on the top. So that was here. You see here my first bar. Okay, I just put it on the top of it and I click Q. And here is my second Q again. If I want to memorize it, I will just click on memory. Now I have all memorized ones are marked in red, like here and here. And you can see here I have two points set or saved. If I want to jump from one to the other, I just click on this one. You can see my cursor went here. If I want to jump to this one, I just click on the other one and I have it here. I can also change the name if I want or add the name. This is the breakdown. And this is the intro. You know, you can put as much information as you want, the way you decide and the way how you will find them yourself. So this hot this cues sorry not hot cues this cues that i've been doing over here they will be saved when i will export i will show you later how to export your playlist to your usb key you will find them exactly at the same spot if you delete them from your usb key 
by accident whatever you will still find them here in your playlist in record box so you have to delete them in both ways but if you delete it from here and you export it to your ESP key it won't be existing in USB key anymore it will be deleted definitely easy you can go until eight queues you create to eight queues and you can jump from one to the other just by clicking over here i think it's a very good way how to set up your queues before you go to the gigs then at least you save some time on doing this and you concentrate yourself on the crowd on the music that you're choosing now when the playlist is done let's say now you want to two different playlists for let's say house music and i will say that it's good to do different playlists like test two I will create again test three just to give you an example let's say now this one is house and this is another house and this is another house music it depends of what house or what date or what gig you have you can put different playlists with different names for different gigs and to avoid to have like hundreds of playlists in your on your left uh, menu so you can create a folder just by clicking right here and you say create not create playlist create a new folder and i will create this new folder i will call it big test <laughs> just call it this way that you can really understand what i'm doing now i have a folder and i have three different test playlists here i can call it for example hip hop one hip hop two hip hop three click on it drag and drop it into the list i will click on this one again i will drag and drop it into the list and the same thing again with this so this way when I export, I will have a folder, like call it folder hip hop, and I will have different playlists of hip hop or techno. I will have different playlists of techno. This is a very good way how to really to not have a messy playlists and get everything organized. Now I come to the part where I need to export my playlist. You can either export the full folder just by clicking right and say export, and you can see here USB key. So I will export all my folder. This shows you which uh, equipment that you can uh, play your playlist with that actually will recognize every single changes that you have done. You just say OK. And now it goes down uploading to my uh, USB key. I can see my second playlist over here. I can also just export one playlist without exporting all the folder. If you have like, for example, 10 tracks, or I think to be safe, just export all the time the, the folder. It will only update the tracks that has been updating or deleting the tracks that you've been deleting from your playlist. If I delete one track from here and export, it will also delete it from your USB key. If you add a track here, it will export the playlist and check if the track is in that playlist. If it's not, it will upload it again. So it's quite easy. And when you finish, you can go down over here and check your USB key. You can just click on this arrow here and see all your playlists. I can click and I can see my big test over here, including all my playlists that I have under my folder. So here we go. Just make sure, very important, that you eject your playlist with this button, especially if you're using a Macintosh Mac. You eject it first because then you avoid to lose like the related file that sometimes is have to often you go to your cdg player and your playlist doesn't work and you don't understand why 99 percent of the time it's this problem that you haven't ejected the usb key you just pull it out without even pushing this ejection button here we go guys now you get it all how you can export it to your usb key also second point this version the rocket box version that i've been using today it's for free there is no need to pay anything of course when you install the, the software it asks you to activate to get the rocket box dj that rocket box dj is another software that allow you to play digital to mix with your computer we don't need that for the moment since in these classes we are learning how to DJ with your ears. Thank you very much for following up. I'll see you very soon on the next online DJ course. Stay tuned.